What's up guys, this is Chris from VFX On, and this is my first video of 2015. I hope everyone's having a great year so far, and I hope it's going to be an even better year as it goes on. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to import your logo that you have made in Photoshop, Illustrator, or any other software into Cinema 4D and make it 3D. Cinema 4D does provide us with a lot of great tools to create our own unique logo just in Cinema 4D. But if you have to compare, for example, Photoshop with Cinema 4D in terms of which is better for creating logos, then hands down, Photoshop is the winner. Alright, so here I have a Spider-Man logo that I want to turn 3D. And all you have to do is select Magic Wand tool, click on it, make sure that all of the parts of the logo is selected right click and make work path click ok go to file export path to illustrator ok and here i have already saved it click save yes and sometimes for example logos do not contain only one part like in this case like just one solid object but they're like separate objects. So for example, this cube is going to be another part of the logo that I want to make 3D and all I have to do again, magic wind tool, select it, right click, make work path, okay, file, export, path to illustrator, okay, and save. Yes. Alright, so here I have my Spider-Man logo that I just created and what you simply do is select it and drag it in Cinema 4D. Scale, leave that as it is, click OK, and here it is. It is currently as a spline, and what you do, you select it, go here, and you alt click on extrude nerves. So that way it is now a 3D logo. And here you can adjust depth of it, you can add caps, fillet cap. Um, thing to note is, for example, here. In these points, this logo is pretty much very, very good to use fillet caps, but for example, few logos are not, and I'm just going to demonstrate, because like here you can see it's just enough good space to use them, but if there isn't that much space, then the logos are just going to go together like this, and in the end it's not going to look like the one that you have, for example, in Photoshop. So just make sure that there is enough space to use fillet cap. So I'm going to move that back to 5, that's okay. So in here I have the cube that we just created and if I again simply drag and drop it into Cinema 4D it's gonna create a new file cube but that's not what I want, I want it to be with the Spider-Man logo. So what we do is file, close, file, merge and we select the file you want to be with the logo you have. So I'm gonna open up, okay, and here it is Again, select it, alt click on extrude nerves, and bam, it's 3D now. So that's how you make 3D logo with Photoshop. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to import your Illustrator logo into Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna quickly make some sort of logo right here. And you don't have to necessarily use text tool, but if you do, make sure you right click create outlines, right click again and ungroup and what that does is by create outlines we create these paths right here and these anchor points and we can adjust each letter and when we group, ungroup we can move each letter around. Another thing to consider is to leave enough space if you want to use fillet cap because for example if I leave this much space right here um, I can tell you for sure that you can't use fillet cap there. I would say at least like this much space would be good or even more. So, but you have to play around with to get a good setting right there. So I'm gonna be back when I finish making my logo. So this is the logo that I created. Nothing fancy, it's not even symmetrical, but for the sake of tutorial it's gonna be good. And I did create it as one solid object. And what that means, as you can see here, all the paths and all of the anchor points are one solid, except for the X, because it's not connecting anywhere. But if we look here, for example, at the X and the, and the O, you can see that the paths are not one together. And if you want, for example, this to be one solid object, then go to Window, Align, Pathfinder, and click Unite. And now we can see that this is one solid object. 
and that's how it's going to be imported into Cinema 4D. But there is another thing to note. You, if you want to do, for example, some sort of animation on the X, you can't do that anymore. So when you create your logo, already think which letters you will, or which uh, logo objects you will want to have some sort of animation going on. And like if your if your letters or some sort of parts of logo overlap like this, um, then using the pen tool, you add paths, and you adjust them, so they are not. Uh, so they are exactly on the same path as the X. Like I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Like. But basically, like, try to make it, like, like, so that it is just going by the side or very, like, just close enough by the other letter or object that it's overlapping, like, here you can see. Because, like, that will give you more smoother and more better look for your overall logo in the end if you do any sort of animation. Because if you, like... Uh, have it overlap and you do some sort of animation in the render you will maybe see some sort of like little details from the overlapping objects so I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna select this and go to file save as save it as this save yes and version select illustrator 8 click OK OK All right so just click and drag and drop Okay, and here we have, again, the same thing, click, I'll click on Extrude Nerves, select Path, I'll click on Extrude Nerves. So here we have a 3D logo, and let's say I want this object or a part of logo to be fill a cap. You can see that right here, it is intersecting with the letter X, and like I said before, it, it will intersect because I didn't leave enough space for the fill a cap. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. Please make sure to hit that like button and please also subscribe. And also, if you have time, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And I hope you guys are having great years so far. And like I said before, I hope it's going to be an even better year as it goes on. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.